So I got a new bag from Hermes and I have the big orange box here to unbox with you today. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about this bag actually. Um, so yeah, I thought I would unbox it and share it with you. I've got another little thing to unbox as well that I ordered online. Um, but I'll show you that in a minute. But yeah, this is the giant orange box that I've got to unbox today. Um, so yes, you might have seen me go to the store and, um, you know, get this. Um, but yes, I actually got this online from the Hermes website. It's actually the first bag that I've got online from Hermes, so I was quite excited about that. Because it's not easy to get a bag on the Hermes website and this is my first time actually managing to get one. So I thought I would share it with you. Um, but yeah, I went to the store on Bond Street to pick it up. Um, so that's why I was in the store. So yes, I will open it now and show you what's inside. So this is my third Hermes bag. Um, yes. So let's have a little look. Here's the dust bag, you see. There's the dust bag. I love all the packaging from Hermes. So I'll take it out. Here it is, my new Hermes bag. I'm really excited and it's got a little cushion inside the box, which I might not be able to see. And a little thingy, care book. So yes, I will put this somewhere else, just get it out of the way. So yeah, I've never ordered a bag from the website before, but it's my first time managing to get one. So yeah, this is the bag. I will unbox it now. Maybe I'll move this out of the way as well. Yes, so here it is. It is another her bag from Hermes. I absolutely love the her bag. It's one of my favorite bags. Um, and I have it in the size 31 and this is the size 39. And it's the black with the gold hardware, which I have already in the size 31. So this is the size 31, I have it with me, and this is the size 39. So yeah, I decided, let's get another one because I absolutely love my original her bag. And I thought, there was one on the website and I was like, let's get it. Cause I, I don't know, I just thought it'd be great to have another one. So yeah, this is the little plastic on there. Take that off. So yeah, I'm very excited. I tried it on in the shop. I'll show you like a clip of me trying it on. And I also compared it to my um, Hermes Birkin as well, my Birkin 40, because this is a size 39. Um, so it's a quite a similar size to my Birkin. And I wanted to sort of compare them and see like how different they are. Cause I kind of wanted something that was like slightly smaller than my Birkin, like not quite as big. Um, and it is actually quite a similar size. I'll show you in the clip, like it's quite similar. It's not actually that different really. Um, but it isn't as wide and like as, the Birkin's very, very like wide and that makes it quite a lot bigger. This is like thinner and it's sort of like, when you wear it, it sort of sits flatter on the body which is really nice. So it doesn't feel as like, as big as the Birkin. I kind of wanted something that was a bit smaller. But yeah, all my Hermes bags have got black and gold hardware, but I just really like black and gold hardware. So anyway, I'll take the plastic off now. Can't get it off. I'll get in this one for that scissors. So yeah, 
and that's the plastic with the plastic off so yes i really really love it and uh yeah so i'll compare it with my her bag 31 so this is the 39 and the 31 centimeters so yeah i've worn this um 31 centimeter her bag so much i absolutely love it like it's one of my favorite bags i've ever had and yeah i just wear it all the time so i was like let's get the 39 because sometimes i find with the 31 that it doesn't fit as much as i would like like sometimes i'm like oh i wish i could fit a little bit more in it um so yeah that's another reason why i got the 39 and also this bag is really not good for like traveling like you can't travel with this bag it's too small it's really good to like has a day-to-day bag but you can't really travel with it because it's just uh, not big enough to fit like a laptop and all of the things you would need but i thought that this one the 39 would be really really good to travel with as well so that's another reason that i got it i was looking at a few other different bags um and i thought this one i kind i looked at that chanel bag when i was in, when into duty free i also looked at it in like black and gold as well but I just didn't like the black and gold. I definitely didn't like the silver. They also did it in like a gold color, but that had silver hardware, so I didn't really like that. Um, and the black and gold had like caviar leather and it was like champagne gold hardware, so I just don't really like that either. So I didn't like that and I thought, what other bags could I get? And then this bag came on the Hermes website and I was like, this would be a great travel bag actually. So. Yes, it's got the little clochette. Yeah, the little clochette, which I have on my other one, which is right here, you see, hanging down. Yeah, and I quite like having that on there. I think it's quite cute. So that comes in that little pouch. So yeah, I just absolutely love the her bag and I just don't, I feel like it's still really underrated. I know it's a bit more popular now, but like, I still feel like people just don't really get it. One of the things I noticed when I tried this on in the store is like, when I wear this one, I wear it like all the time, like I said, and basically I often wear it like this because a lot of people complain about this mechanism on the front of the bag and they complain about it and say like it's annoying but this is mainly i wear the bag like this when i wear it so that i just open it like this and it's really easy to get into like everyone says so so hard to get into but if you wear it like this when you're out and about it's like so easy to get into like I don't see what the problem is. I, I actually, I've worn this one so much, it's a little bit like scratched up now. So I might take it to Hermes and see if they can like make it look amazing again. Um, but yeah, that's because I just wear it all the time. But I think maybe this flap on my bag has like softened up a bit because on this one, I notice like when I wear it in that way, it just kind of like, doesn't want to stay like that like it just keeps like if you wear it it'll just pop open like that and i think this is maybe the reason that a lot of people find this bag like really annoying because it just pops open like that and so you can't wear it like this and so you have to like put these things through it and then it's like a big pain in the you know so um yeah but I personally, what I would do is, you know, maybe just, you know, do it up when you first get it, but then just like wear it a lot. And this top piece of leather will eventually soften up so that you can like wear it like this, like, you know, and it's much easier. Um, but yeah, I can totally see if this like flaps open all the time that it would be kind of annoying. But it's just because the leather is like stiff still. So yeah, just like do it up for a bit because I didn't even notice. I just wore the bag to death. I love it. And I didn't even notice. And that's just kind of how I gravitated towards wearing it. Um, but yeah, so you can just obviously do it up and then eventually it will soften up as you use it. So yeah, this is the 39 and this is the 31. So yeah, I think they're actually really different in size. Like if you look at them, 
this one is so much smaller than this one like but i feel like this having this 39 size actually makes the 31 look really small um but yeah i think the 31 size is just more cute and it's like i think maybe like it's a little bit more feminine and like it's not super feminine or anything but like it's just a little bit more feminine obviously the larger size is more masculine but i think the larger size is a little bit more edgy it depends on what kind of look you want if you want a more edgy look then the bigger one is good if you want a more cute look then the smaller one is good um also yeah it has this back pocket which is really good and i put my phone and stuff in there and it's easy to get out so yeah and it comes with this little pouch inside as well so yes yeah, it's, it's really big as you can see so yeah i'm just really happy to have gotten another her bag i know people will be like why did you get like exactly the same like color and hardware and everything but i love black and gold and like to be honest there's not a huge amount of the other colors of her bags i actually really like this is this i just think looks amazing See, it is very stiff, this leather now. It's quite hard to, like, close it. So hopefully this will soften up over time. So, yeah, that's my new Hermes bag. I'm really happy with it. Also, if you look at the, um, the top handle, this one looks like it's smaller, but I think over time the top handle kind of, like, stretches a bit and, like, loosens up um because the leather just softens over time you know so yeah that is my new bag from Hermes so this is my third Hermes bag I have a Birkin 40 this one the Ber uh, Herbag 39 and this Herbag 31 so yeah uh what else would I want to say about my new bag so yeah I haven't taken the stickers off obviously yet but yeah, I mean, I think, honestly, I do think this bag is super underrated. I think it's a really good alternative to a Kelly bag or a Birkin bag, and it's it's not as expensive as those bags. So, yeah, I can put this on. How do I have it on here? Yeah, I have it just going around there, so I can kind of do the same with this. So yeah, I want, I'm not sure if I will keep it like this on this one because I don't want the uh, leather to get scratched. You see on this one it sits a little bit higher up and it might scratch the leather whereas this one it sits just a little bit low, lower so it's like only where the canvas is. So I might not keep it like that on this one. I'll have to decide what I want to do with that. But yeah, I just love the her bag so much. I've had this one for quite a few years now. I mean, I think I got it in 2021. So yeah, almost almost three years since I had this one. So is that right? Yeah, 21, 22, 23, 24. Yeah, almost three years. I think I got it in like April or something. Um, so yeah, third, three years since I've had this one. And, I got another one. So that just shows you how much I really love the her bag to get another one after all that time. So yeah, this is the her bag 39. It's my new bag. Um, I also did order this on the website. I'll just move this out of the way. So yeah, another thing I ordered on the website. They've had some really good things on the website recently. Um, so I ordered this as well. So yes. I will show you what it is. So it is a, another uh, Pegasus charm, which looks like this. Can you see that? Okay, see yeah. it. So yeah, that. So yeah, this is uh, Pegasus in the colours Etoup, which is the brown colour, and this is Biscuit and Vert Fizz. So yeah, and this is the PM size. 
I've got quite a few of these now actually and I haven't shown you them all because yeah I just haven't um, so maybe I will do a video showing you the other ones I have um, like it's really funny like I couldn't get any for ages and then like all of a sudden like now I have well I've, I've had been I've got the first one like maybe like a year or so ago and now I've got like four so yeah I mean it probably looks better on my smaller size than this bigger one to be honest with you but yeah that's um the pegasus charm that i got maybe i'll show you on the smaller one because it might look cuter on there i think so yeah the uh, uh yeah i've got quite a few of these and the rodeos as well um they're just honestly they're super addictive like don't buy them because you will just get addicted to them and um you won't be able to stop buying them <laughs> That's how, what I found anyway, like they just are amazing and I love them. So yeah, this one is really, really cute. Um, and that's the good thing about having black bags, like you can kind of just add like a Pegasus or a Rodeo charm and like just kind of make it go with your outfit a bit more. And you don't have to buy like a whole bag and a color, you know? So yeah, those are my new purchases i'm really happy with them yeah i'm not sure if i'm gonna keep this on here because i don't want it to get scratched the leather you have to be quite careful because the leather does scratch quite easily um I'll put this back down here so yeah that's my new bag and that's my new little bag charm let me know what you think um i would yeah i mean i obviously i haven't used this size yet so i don't know how i'm gonna like it or not but obviously i love the herbag 31 and i think i'm gonna love this one as equally as much um so yeah so yeah, that's all for this video, guys. I hope you like my new bag from Hermes. Definitely check out the Hermes website if you want to get a uh, bag. Like they have quite a, like they've had quite a few different bags on there recently. Oh, this keeps falling over. Yeah, they've had quite a few different bags on there recently. I've seen like her bags and Picatins. Well, yeah, not many Picatins to be honest, but um. Yeah, they have, do have them garden party bags as well and the getter bag I've seen on there as well. Um, so yeah, and they often have these on the Hermes um, website as well, the Pegasus charms and the Rodeos. Like a few years ago, these were like quite difficult to get in the store. Um, I don't know now because I haven't like tried getting them because I just see them when they're on the website and get them from the website because I tried a few times and like they just never had them. Um, and then that way you can just pick whatever colour you want and you're not just stuck with whatever like ones they have in the shop. Um, so yeah, uh, that's all for this video guys. I hope you like my new bag. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in my next video.